Hey, I'm Stephanie, and welcome back to my channel. Today we're painting more doors, and as you can see, this one is already white. It used to be this like weird beigey color, which I was not really particularly a fan of. But this one actually also has already a couple coats of undercoat, and then one layer of satin wood. I'm going to do the final layer of satin wood this side. You'll decide some more issues, I'm going to show you that later. They're all doors, and they've been painted before, which means that they have those little like drips going down, which really, really bother me. But I actually can't really fully get rid of them quite easily because some of them are like covered in layers and layers and layers of paint but yeah hopefully we can finally get this side done and most of the architrave as well so let's do it let's paint some doors i'm using the deluxe straight satin wood which is fully covered in paint i'm just gonna give it a good stir i have my little brush to dust it off and it's not a lot of dust in this room because there is no builders working in this space so it's actually quite decent so also the fact that this door is still looking great because some of them i've painted and the builders have gone in and they've like you know scratched it again or whatever which is annoying but also i can't really do much else right now because i'm waiting on the builders to complete certain aspects of the house before i can continue so i'm stuck with the doors oh, as well um, go and do some painting. And actually the trick with this paint and all like also like paints if you're painting it on an undercoat is to be careful with it by a very very thin layer and some people find it very hard to work with because it's very easy to apply too much so I always try to apply too little if that makes sense because then it has the prettiest finish possible in my personal opinion. You also have to think about just going in one direction because it's finishing paint so it will take all your brush strokes with you so if you're going in a zigzag it will dry up in a zigzag however if you're going in straight lines it will dry up in straight lines which will be a nice finish. That's the second one done so now on to the roller. Let's do this next bit. Well, that's our part done. Now I'm going to do it with the roller again, just as I did on the bottom half of the door. Effectively, <laughs> it's not rocket science. So let's do this. effectively so now let's look at the other side and I think I'm going to do some sanding there because I'm actually annoyed by something um and that is probably going to be in on an account so I actually can't finish the store today which is quite a shame and now I'm going to move to oh, actually do that but as you can see here you get these like ugly little drips which honestly quite frankly bother me a whole lot but I just know that if I'm going to send them down I will find the other pain underneath and if you do send them down indeed you'll find the old pain that actually caused the like effect of the little drips and it's so annoying um because there's no easy way to quickly get rid of it apart from sending something and sending which is effectively like sending away my paint job again so I think I might just stick with it obviously this now needs a new undercoat <laughs> So this door is not going to be finished like I suspected earlier. It's annoying. I'm just going to do the rest of the architraves around the door. So now let's do see these architraves and get that all finished and done. Quite excited for that. And then we have another door and another door upstairs. Like we're nowhere near done with the doors, but let's get going. So I actually really enjoy painting. I find it incredibly therapeutic to paint. So now I'm just going to clean around the edges a little bit to make sure there's no dust which will be captured in my paint because that will create another bubble, which I wouldn't like. And then on a side note, just found out that my builder where I also installed sockets on a spare, which he actually just pulled it off the next one beside it. I was like, mate, otherwise I wouldn't have asked you to do it because I could have just, you know, figured it out myself. I just wanted to have the washer and the dryer on the spare. Either way, 
okay, that's like all the stuff that goes along. You just have to manage all this and stuff. I could do renovating the house and painting door frames. Cool, that's all done. And I also know that I don't have the wall taped up because I'm gonna paint the wall anyway. So I figured, why bother? So yeah, let's get on painting. So this will be more of like a brush task because it's architraves with detailing. So I can't really use the roller here. So I had a bit of a change of heart with the roller. I'm gonna do the side bits with the roller anyways, because it's just easier. So that's this side, so now we're going to do the other side, which is a bit more anticlimactic, and I'll get back to you. 